Hi, I'm Blair Lee, and you're watching The Music Enthusiast. Hi, I'm Sarah from The Music Enthusiast, and today I'm here with Blair Lee. How are you? I'm great. How are you doing? So good, first of all. I'm obsessed with your voice and with your music. It's so magical. Oh, thank you so much. No problem. <laughs> so how have you been lately? There's a change in weather right now in Canada, at least. We are both in Canada. I'm actually kind of liking it. Like I told you before, I'm kind of ready for fall. I love the season. I, I love fall and then winter up until Christmas. Mm -hmm. So I'm ready for these next four months. I feel the same, but just like <laughs> winter and all the snow and just like the weather is not it for me. I, I know. I am a little bit scared of that. I feel like the last few winters for us especially have been like lockdown. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of kind of traumatic to feel it coming again <laughs> exactly and I feel your music is very like very fall vibes like do you feel the same or do you feel like it's another oh, season? that's good I I think I do feel the same or at least I want I want them to be fall vibes you know? and it is good because it is coming out in the fall so <laughs> exactly your new single is coming out in a few days actually how are you feeling about that it's your first release of the year yeah I'm I'm actually really, really excited because I feel like I've been working on a lot of songs for, for a while now and not releasing. So it's going to feel nice to finally be able to kind of put some music out there and share it. I'm excited because I heard the single and it's absolutely magical. It's very like, you can tell it's your song, but it's different. Like, it's not like, it's not like another song that you release. It's not like this one. It's not like that one. It's literally just like its own thing. It, you're also releasing a music video for it, a two in one, like a double <laughs> only. Like, how are you feeling about that? Are you nervous for the music video as well? Or is it just a single? I'm not really nervous about the music video. Um, it was actually just one that I made. Um, I got some uh, home footage converted like from VHS to digital. A lot of it is from my second birthday, which was crazy to watch. But then some of it is just like from when my sister was born, my younger sister and kind of her growing a little bit. So I just chopped up some of that footage and put it to the video. And I felt like it was really fitting for the sound and for the theme of the song. So yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah I'm excited to put that out too. Not nervous. Yeah, <laughs> like the song is pretty sad, actually, but the song is beautiful. It's very like, contradicting between the beats and like just the lyrics and what the song is about um there was a dream that stayed with you for like a very long time that came back for this single so was it like the topic of the song came to you and then you remembered the dream or was it just you were thinking about the dream and then the song came about I think I actually thought of the dream afterwards when I was trying to like trying to uh, write down what the song was actually about because I find uh, when I'm making up a song when I'm writing it I'm just sort of like I'm thinking about things and I kind of go into a flow but I'm not necessarily like deciding what it's about <laughs> but yeah I think in the song I use an, an anchor as kind of a symbol I had a dream that gravity was like leaving earth I don't even know how to to word that but gravity was just gone so people were just like things were just sort of starting to float away and we all had kind of like a certain amount of time before you know whatever happened the atmosphere and I guess burn <laughs> so and I just have I have a memory of the dream of like being in my backyard at my parents house and like looking up into the sky and seeing this cruise ship just like floating up into the sky and I knew I think in real life at the time my parents were actually on or my grandparents were on a cruise so in the dream I was just thinking like oh my god like they're they're the first to go and I like I'm just watching them float away do you keep track of your dreams regularly or do you just like note down whatever is like very significant like that one yeah I feel like some dreams I remember better than others I actually I think dreams are so interesting but I don't know that many people who want to talk about them <laughs> so I do yeah I, I write them down sometimes um sometimes they just stick with me but yeah if, if there are any that I find that are actually interesting or like very symbolic I'll write them down because I think that's cool like I have a lot of dreams with themes around water water and change yes. which I think is really cool and I feel like that comes in with music as well so. and the fact that like you're there was a cruise ship 
and your <laughs> grandparents were on a cruise ship like that exact time that's just like that's so trippy to think about like it's so uh, weird. but anyway back to the single um you tend to layer a lot with your music i watched a few instagram stories of yours of your like whole process oh um, thanks for watching <laughs> no problem. uh usually you start off with like the beats and like your um uh, like background vocals and all that you focus on like chords and chord pro- progressions so was this single started off with lyrics or was it started off beats per, per usual? Ooh, this one was actually a little bit different in the songwriting process. So usually I make all my music that has been coming out, I make it with uh, Max, Mod Max, yeah. my producer. But we started this song actually um, on a Zoom call with two other writers out of Vancouver. Their names are Lucas Fogel and Maddie V. Mm-hmm. Um, so this one actually started with just like, talking about life it was actually about a a year ago that we probably started it yeah so I think this one started more with the theme of just thinking about COVID and all kind of like like I was personally thinking about all the moments I've missed with with my family Mm -hmm. over the past two years just like not being able to see them a lot you know babies being born people getting married a lot in my family and then especially my grandparents I feel like in those two years they their health really declined so that was really tough to not be able to, to go and see them. So to get back to your question of songwriting process, I think this one started more with, with that general theme. Lucas or Luca actually was the first one to start with the chords on the piano. Like even on the call, he was just playing around and we started like Maddie and I started playing with melodies. And then we kind of had like a sketch of the song, like just like a very basic idea. And then after that, we came away from the call and Max and I kind of built it up together. I think he built up more of the production, like added the guitar. It's funny because the song actually, I'm really going on and on about it, but it changed to being guitar in the beginning. And um, yeah, then the melodies and, and the lyrics kind of came together. And then for this one, all the layering of the vocals actually happened after like kind of like wrapped those around like we were guided by what was already there and kind of tried to build it up you started writing music at age 10 so what's your fondest musical memory oh well when I when I started making up songs it was more just piano songs yeah Uh, classically trained right I am yeah a nice memory for me is actually um like making up my first songs or my first song and then actually going back to my piano teacher and showing it to her I don't even know how I would have brought that up in a in a lesson but I was probably really proud of it and wanted to share so yeah that would be a good memory and then also just her Ms. Ms. Matisse is her name um I have nice memories of her like really encouraging me to to keep making up songs and then she would have me like play them at our recitals and whatnot so I feel like I was really lucky to have a teacher that like facilitated that type of growth and that, I don't know encouraged do you still like keep track with your music now does she know what you're doing yeah 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 I think she listens to it we've talked a little bit like on Facebook and stuff I think that I've texted her <laughs> that's so that's so cute I love it and if you could describe your music as an animal which animal would it be and why that's a good question for some reason I have to think of an animal that like goes into hibernation or something or like that makes sense though it's like an animal that can survive in the cold (laughs) yeah but I don't feel like it's a bear I feel like it's like a like a groundhog maybe that could that could work (laughs) I don't know it's just like a little shy like it just comes and like decides (laughs) if it wants to go back to bed or not (laughs) see that's a good one I could say that yeah I don't have to think about that that's just a cute little woodland creature of some sort (laughs) <laughs> sure. Um, That's an interesting question to ask. I feel like I've never heard anyone ask that. Thank you. And my last question for you is who are your favorite artists right now? Okay. First answer is the Badoobie. Yeah. I feel like I'm I really, really like her music. I haven't even listened to all of it, but I feel like I'll I'll start listening to one of her songs and then it'll be all I can listen to. Like every time I'm on the subway, I'll just like 
like I don't know if you've heard the song 1036 I have I'm obsessed with it it was like my song of the summer like absolutely I know I don't know what it is about it it's so addicting I feel like so I would play that like I would I downloaded it on Spotify and would play it like over and over and over again that one's so good yeah so she's she's my favorite right now I'm going to see her in December she's, she's coming to Montreal too you're oh yeah. I was reading getting um tickets for Montreal just so I would have like a reason to go to Montreal maybe I'll switch it oh my god you should and we'll have that <laughs> for sure yeah it would be very cool to actually meet you in person yeah totally I I would love to cool well maybe I'll get Montreal tickets then and then sell my Toronto ones yeah just let me know <laughs> but yeah uh thank you so much it was so much fun talking to you thanks it was really fun talking to you too thank you for giving me a chance to to talk about the song and everything